You're listening to the Confidence Shift Podcast. I'm your host, Michelle Charles Gustafson. I'm a former award-winning direct sales entrepreneur who achieved everything you think you want in a business, plus a little burnout and depression on the side. But using my degree in marketing strategy, expertise in personal branding, and my creative self-development process, I healed myself by shifting my confidence, starting with how I saw myself in the mirror. Now, as a certified image consultant and international confidence coach, I run a life-changing internet business and online community showing purpose-driven female entrepreneurs, professionals, and community influencers to toss out the old dress-for-style mentality and shift into the image, mindset, success connection that crushes self-doubt and creates maximum visibility for your goals. I'm glad you're here. Let's jump in. Folks. It's Michelle. Welcome back. Listen, it is no secret that Black Friday is upon us. Cyber Monday is imminent. And I want to give you a guide to getting it right. So right now, real quick, I'm giving you three ways to master your Black Friday shopping without breaking a sweat. And I mean it. So stay tuned. It's gonna be quick, fast and furious. First of all, it's no secret that Black Friday is probably the biggest shopping time of the year. It's where retailers go into the black, it's where they make their money, it's where they do all the good work on their books as a business. And being that the ladies' fashion industry is about $621 billion, that's a lot of money that comes in on a very short amount of time all over the world, really. This is not even just a US Canadian phenomenon. This is all over the world. UK, every, anywhere who's doing the shopping is having Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And it doesn't matter if you're shopping in person or online, y- you can break a sweat, I know. It's like there is a frenzy of craziness that happens that I know can be overwhelming. And here's the thing. It's all driven by consumers who want to save. You're in it to save money. The sales are great, you wanna get in there, the retailers wanna sell it to you, but your main purpose is to save money. Fair enough. And that that feeling of wanting to save money can feel very, very frantic, uh, frenzied, and almost overwhelming, almost uh, pressured if you're not looking at it the right way. So I wanna give you three ways that you can do better, a more peaceful Black Friday experience that will get you what you need, that will be aligned more with what you're working for in order to create confidence in how you dress, and that will kind of ease your worry about being out there and, and getting it done and making it happen. So here's the three ways. The first way is to plan your shop. This is not groundbreaking but I mean planning in a very specific way. You want to know what particular items you are adding to your closet. It's not just, I'm going to buy a bunch of stuff because it's on sale. You wanna look at each item that you want to add with intention. Why am I adding it? What is the formality I'm adding? What is the position it's holding in my wardrobe? What am I gonna use it for? What season is this intending for? And for my clients who know, you guys know the items that you need to have positions in your wardrobe. So I want you to figure out which position you are shopping for to create those 42 outfits for under the 10 items that you have in your wardrobe. Think of the position. That planning is going to save you a lot of aggravation. The second thing you wanna do in planning is know your retailer and know your brand. Brands make their clothing in certain color palettes for certain body shapes and for certain personal style stories. So the things you want to say with your wardrobe. You want to be very familiar with your individual particular brands so that you know who you're shopping from. So it's not like you're just shopping from everybody. You're shopping from your brands that aligns with you, your color palette that's custom, your body shape, what are the shoulders, what are the waistlines, what are the lengths. You're shopping for your body, and you're shopping for your personal style story, knowing how to read clothing for what it's telling you about yourself. So you wanna be able to know those by brand and by uh, retailer. 
The third thing is you want to stock the website of that brand and retailer. So you want to go on now. Look, some of the sales are already live, but if you know they're coming out on the Friday, you're going to stock that website for items that you think you would purchase to put in your closet intentionally that would be on your personal brand, in your personal colors, and that are uh, in the items and the functions you need to be putting into your wardrobe. So planning is huge. If you don't have time to plan, you're gonna be shopping willy-nilly, okay? So number one is to plan. Number two, unfollow influencers, okay? Listen, there are, there are a plethora <laughs> of YouTubers, Instagrammers, uh, Pinteresters who are telling you what to buy on Black Friday. They will tell you where to shop. They will tell you what's the good deal. They'll tell you what they've bought. Here's the problem. The problem is, is they get paid to tell you that. I want you to know that. They get paid to tell you where and what to buy, whether it's by click views, link clicks, all of that. And that's perfectly fine if you know why you are following a certain influencer. If they have the same personal style story as you, if they have the same body shape as you, if they have the same color palette as you, if they align with you in all ways, for sure, go ahead and do it. But if you don't know that information and you're just following them because you like what they wear and it's cute, you will be buying what they buy, but that's not necessarily for you. So I want you to unfollow any of those influences that can be confusing you and, sh and, and having you buy things that are not necessarily aligned, like not planning wise, okay? So you're gonna do that. Number one, plan your shop. Number two, unfollow influencers. Number three, buy, don't buy everything unless you have a wardrobe plan, <laughs> okay? So if you don't have a wardrobe plan, a way you are building your wardrobe for your personal brand, for building into confidence, you cannot just buy everything. What will happen is, what has probably happened to you in the past, you will buy it all and by, I don't know, mid-December, stuff still has tags hanging on it. That is not the way to build a, 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 a sustainable, versatile, expressive wardrobe. Your sustainable, versatile, and expressive wardrobe comes from pieces that you actually put into use for your lifestyle, for your personal expression, and for wanting to um, create a picture of yourself every day that builds confidence in yourself. So if you don't have a wardrobe plan, my advice to you is only purchase two to four items that you know your wardrobe needs. That's it. That's it. Yes, you'll save money on it. Yes, you might get a deal, but two to four items allows you to put your attention on those and to use them efficiently, even if you don't know all the other details that are needed to create a personal brand with your image. Two to four, that's it. If you go ahead and you buy everything, what happens is shopping and dressing behavior takes over that you aren't aware of. So what you'll do is you'll you'll repurchase things that are the cripples in your wardrobe. The cripples are the things that um, you always buy and you have a million of them. And you'll just uh, uh, limit your ability to create outfits because you have so many of the same thing, okay? so. That is why I'm saying don't buy everything, just buy two to four items. Those are your three tips to create sanity over this Black Friday and Cyber Monday. They will help you get closer to mastering being able to shop those sales without breaking a sweat. And if you know that <laughs> you need a plan for your wardrobe, I'm always here to help you. I have links above. Okay, that's it guys. Whew. Stay calm out there. See you soon. Thanks so much for listening, gal. I know you can tell that I believe a strategic image and a confidence mindset is something everyone who wants to make an impact needs. A shift in confidence can change your life, and it's my joy to work with everyday entrepreneurs, professionals, and influencers in my signature Hue and Style mentorship program. You can explore about how I work with my clients and see their amazing results and breakthroughs too. It's all at hueandstyle.com. Join the community and start to see how making the image mindset success connection can create a breakthrough in your life too. Can't wait to see you there. Bye for now.